Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you one of my favorite desserts for entertaining. It is my coconut almond ice cream baskets. They're easy and delicious and they look so elegant. When you entertain, it doesn't matter if you give people a bowl of pasta. If you come out with an elegant looking dessert, people think you are a domestic goddess. And this is the perfect dessert for that. You're going to begin by whipping up some egg whites with a little bit of salt. Once they start to get foamy and soft peaks form, add about a half a teaspoon of almond extract, and then you're gonna fold in your sweetened coconut. Now that's the secret. You wanna make sure you buy the coconut that's already sweetened because it's going to save you a step having to add any sugar. And it's perfectly sweet just like that. You don't need to add anything else. Then you're also gonna add about a tablespoon of flour, mix that all up, and then now you have your basket dough. Now when it comes to muffin tins, I really like to use the jumbo muffin tins for this because you're gonna end up with a larger basket that really holds a nice scoop of vanilla ice cream. However, if you don't have a jumbo muffin tin, you could use a regular muffin tin. You'll just end up with smaller baskets, which if you're trying to watch your calories, might not be a bad thing. So go ahead and take a scoop of the batter and press it into your nonstick muffin tin. You just wanna press all the dough up, working your way up the sides just until all the sides are covered. It's kind of nice if the edges are not perfectly even because that's gonna give you some nice jagged edges of your basket when it's baked. You're gonna pop that in the oven at 350 for about 15 to 20 minutes. You're just looking for the baskets to turn golden brown around the sides. They will still remain white inside, but it will be cooked. They just will not get brown and that's okay. And then take them out of the tins and allow them to cool on a cooling rack. Now, if you're making this for a party, you could make these baskets the day before. All you would do is leave them on the cooling rack and cover loosely with foil. They'll be just as good the next day. Then we're gonna make our strawberry sauce. So this time of year, the strawberries, we start to see them in California, but they're not really sweet yet. So this is the perfect recipe for strawberries that aren't really at their peak because you're gonna be cooking them down. And as you do that, they start to get sweeter, especially if you add a little sugar to them. So in our saucepan, we're going to add some strawberries, some lemon zest, some lemon juice, water, and some sugar. Go ahead and stir that up until well combined, and then you're gonna set your pot on medium high. It'll start to simmer, and as that's happening, you wanna go in with a fork and start to mash those strawberries up, just so you begin to have a nice chunky sauce. Then you wanna allow your strawberry sauce to cool because the idea is to actually serve this on top of the ice cream at room temperature. But if you're making this for a party, you could also do this step the day before. Just transfer it to an airtight container, pop it in the fridge, and then about a half hour before you're ready to serve it, go ahead and take it out of the fridge and put it on the counter. You want it to come up to room temperature before you serve it. To serve, you're gonna take one coconut basket and inside you're gonna add a big scoop of vanilla ice cream and then top it with your beautiful strawberry sauce. And you'll see you will have one elegant dessert that was easy to put together that your friends will be so impressed over. I hope you guys give this one a try the next time you're having people over and I guarantee it, they will think you are the domestic goddess. And I'll see you back here next week when I'm gonna share with you a perfect breakfast for Mother's Day. I'll see you then.